Hello, welcome to another video. I know I only uploaded yesterday, but I got really, really excited. Um, I went to London recently to see a play. Um, it's called Dear Evan Hansen. Um, if you haven't seen it, I totally recommend going. Oh my god, it was an emotional roller coaster. Anyway, not the point of the video. Um, but whilst I was there, I also um, had the opportunity to visit the Primark up there um, and also the Mina Lima store, which is the first time I've ever been there. Um, so I thought I'd kind of share with you my little haul of stuff that I got. And there's also something that I ordered and I've been waiting for it for so long and it's so pretty and I need to show you. <laughs> anyway, um, if you're new to my channel, please give it a like, maybe a subscribe or two. Um, but yeah, so let's start with the Primark stuff. It's mostly Christmas ornaments because I'm a Christmas nut and I just can't help myself. But the first one is is a little platform and nine and three quarters and it's got a little spinner in the middle this one was five pounds so not that expensive either oh crinkles and i'm gonna get it out so you can see it properly oh i forgot what crinkly like packaging is like oh okay okay so here it is see it so it's got the platform and nine and three quarters and then on the back is the same at the bottom I can't actually see what that says it says oh, it's just the trademark thing but yeah so that's there and then the little spinner spins in the middle too and yeah it's quite heavy as well so I would probably put that on like a maybe a bottom branch but yeah so that was the first one um I just really liked it I thought yeah why not <laughs> my tree is mostly actually a Disney tree but not anymore <laughs> The next thing that I got is Harry Potter bauble set of two this time and you've got Harry and the Marauders map. Uh, this one was also £5 but you get two in there so that's good value and I'm going to get these out too. Ah. Okay so the th Ooh, they're stuck together. Oh Ooh, okay. <laughs> okay so here's Harry. In all his glory and he's just a little oh just a little figurine i think these are sort of like the funko pop versions of them does that rub off the front yeah it's got white on the front but that actually is rubbing off so i'll give him a bit of a clean before i put him on there but yeah there's harry again quite weighty um last year i managed to get the train and i think it was hagrid i'm not sure but those, I put it on the branch and it just went, boof, <laughs> down. So yeah, I had to sort of rearrange a bit. And here's the other one. So you see the little Marauders map. It actually has got all the writing on it. Like, Messrs. Mooney, Wormtail, Puppet and Prongs. And then it's just plain on the back with a little trademark. And, and the side, I don't know if you can see. They go, look, they've serrated it. So it looks like there's loads of little, like layers i think that's pretty cool but yeah i like that a lot it's probably that's, i think that's i love the marauders map i'm obsessed the next one i got was it's another little set of two so in this one you get hedwig and a stooped case this one was also five pounds i also spend my money in increments of five pounds oh okay so in this one Obviously, you've got Hedwig again in that sort of Funko Pop style. She's looking pretty angry though. <laughs> yeah, she looks a little bit angry. But yeah, I actually quite like her. Again, at reasonable weight. And it's just her back there. And her little trademark is on the bottom. And then we've also got a little Hogwarts trunk. And I think this is really cute. <laughs> It's got the little, oh, nope, that way, sorry. It's got the little scarf hanging out the bottom and you also have the Hogwarts crest and it's shiny as you can see. It's got, it's gold around the edges. This one's a little bit lighter than the others, but yeah, still really, really nice. I just thought, yeah, they're really cute. I'm gonna Harry Potterfy my tree this year, so may as well start. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh god the next thing i got was a set of four harry potter baubles this one as you can see it was four pounds and you can't see them all i will get them out for you but you've got four different characters uh, that have all just fallen over <laughs> okay the first one is hermione you can see her on the front and then it's just the warner brother things on the back and it's full of fake snow these are really really light i think they're only they're only plastic obviously coming from primark but they're still really really cute and i can't wait to put it on my tree the next one is who have we got now okay we've got harry again that sort of funko pop and again with the warner brothers on the back and my little snow who else have i got i've got ron it would make sense to have the golden tree eh, wouldn't it there's ron with his little snow in the background and last but not least there is hedwig and you can see her in the back too she's observing us right now okay so that was it for the christmas ornaments i mean i think that's probably more than enough I also managed to get a little mirror. I have got the proper one as well, but I got a mirror of Arisad. You can see my light there. I got a little mirror of Arisad, and it's still pretty detailed considering it's from Primark. You got the writing on the top and my hair on the side. <laughs> you got the, that on the top, and then it's just really, really detailed the whole way through. Like they've sort of like done that tarnishing effect. The mirror is good quality, I can see in it. You can see my face. <laughs> and then on the back you've got a kickstand so you can have it. I had it in my video yesterday up there. I've replaced it with my Niffler Army today. And then you've also got the little hanger in case you wanted to put it on the wall. Comparing it to the original, obviously not quite as detailed but still this one was only nine pounds ah not an increment of five <laughs> this one was nine pounds yeah and i just think like it'll look good in sort of like instagram posts and yeah i really liked it so i wanted to get that the next thing i got i think there's two more things from primark and then it's the mina lima stuff but i also got a little hedwig candle and it smells like what's it smell like it's not vanilla to me it smells like men's aftershave i don't know why it says absolute linen on the top but to me that smells like aftershave either way it still smells lush so and this one was nine pounds no not nine pounds i'm reading it upside down this was six pounds and like it's proper it's not plastic it's like some sort of like pottery material but yeah, so I got myself a little Hedwig candle and that will be sat over by my TV with my other collection of candles. The last thing I got from Primark was these and they're just such a bargain. So you get, these ones were £2 and it's a, um, can't speak, it's an A6 notebook set of three and I'll get them out because there's three different designs on. much crinkly so there's the first one and it's all gold and shiny and it's got all the different spells on it you've got alohomora obliviate expelliarmus expecto patronum and it's more on the bottom astronomy <laughs> lumos obviously to match the tattoo nope wrong arm <laughs> Doop, lumos and then on the next book you've also got a spell set so this one's sort of like more in an order like that and again it's all gold and shiny and i just thought it was really cute i'm probably just going to pop it in my handbag if i've got lists and stuff to do and then the last one again it's just that sort of design but without sort of like any central theme yeah i just thought those were really really cute you know good price can't go wrong really <laughs> So moving on, as I said, I also managed to get out to see Mina Lima, which I've 
never managed to do before i was so excited i got in there i don't know if you've been but there's the shop fest and then you go up some stairs and then it's got a load more stuff and then up some stairs and then there's a load more stuff and then up some stairs again oh my god it was just never ending and i was in heaven <laughs> um but yeah i thought i can't leave without getting some stuff so i got myself a little i forgot the word magnet <laughs> with a proclamation one of umbridge's ones because she's so sassy and this one is all oh, students will submit to questioning about su suspected illicit activities and i also got this i can't wait um it's supposed to be a card but i'm not going to use it for that but this is here with the gold foiling again i just can't help myself but this is one of the shops in diagon alley Oh, and I love owls so much and it's like the owl emporium I've got my Hedwig I've got my Hedwig oh so cool but yeah I really liked that so I thought oh you can probably put that in sort of like Instagram posts in the background if you're doing like a Diagon Alley one I just thought it was really pretty and then last but not least <clears throat> I managed to get a book of postcards and these are the Fantastic Beasts ones and there are 10 designs and you get two of each so there's 20 postcards in the little thing i'm not going to tell you how much it all was because i can't remember but <laughs> and you've got all the different designs on the back there i think my favorite are sort of like the oldie worldy ones so like this one this one this one and this one uh, i did ask my husband of course and he likes this one because it's green <laughs> but yeah and i just thought oh I, mm, I couldn't leave without buying something I've always wanted to go there the people there were so nice as well on each floor there's like a little assistant a little assistant that's so condescending i'm so sorry there's an assistant and they're really really knowledgeable and you can ask them questions and they'll take pictures for you um i took some pictures whilst i was in there i'll pop those on my instagram so you can have a look if you want to and last but not least moving on i managed to order this i can't remember where it was from ah oh. That's going to frustrate me. If I remember, I'll put it in the link below. But I managed to bag myself something that I've just whacked on the floor. So that's handy. Ugh. It is a Harry Potter vault. Gringotts Bank. And I just love it. I think it's great. Yeah, it's so good. And then when you open it up, it is so detailed. I can't even tell you. Let's have a look quick. I did have it in the back, but I put it away so that I could like show you it to you properly. <laughs> okay, here it is. Here it is. Look at it. And it's huge. Look, again, at the size of my face. <laughs> but yeah, you've got sort of like, it's sort of like a resiny material. It's really well made. And you can see the little door. It doesn't open, obviously. And then you've got like the overhang so it looks like it's just come out of a wall and then on the side like it's all bricked it's so nice and then on the back you've got a little gringot sign and then on the bottom is where you got all the pennies out and there's an official licensed product as well which is amazing and then on the top yeah you've also got where all the money pops in and then I can undo it for you just so you can see inside. I don't know if my camera will pick it up. Maybe not. You can't really see inside, but I'll try. Hey Philip. There's the inside. It's all resiny in there. But yeah, I just thought that's pretty cool and it's huge, so like you can store things like obviously your pennies because it's a money box, but you can also sort of display it. Mine was back there yesterday. Um I had to replace it with Grindelwald's pendant whilst I'm filming but I'll put it back but yeah I just thought oh wow it's so pretty I couldn't resist it it's huge it's sturdy and I just think it looked great in pictures and stuff but yeah so yeah that was my little haul I just thought I'd share it with you because I really liked it so London was great if you haven't seen Dear Evan Hansen totally recommend it it's amazing it's an emotional roller coaster oh my god I got halfway through <sighs> oh my goodness but yeah so good that was it <laughs> um if you like this video please give it a thumbs up maybe consider giving me a subscribe or two i would really appreciate it 
Um, but yeah, and I'll see you soon. Okay, bye.